Hey everyone, it's Josh from Boost TVM. In this video, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the large if function. Now, I had an instance come up recently where I needed to use this function, and it, it proved to be very helpful. It's not something that you'll use very often. I haven't used it many times previously, um, but I'll kind of walk through uh, the scenario that uh, I came upon recently that um, required it. So here, uh, I'll kind of walk through this, this uh, data set here that I created. So the scenario is we have contracts here, uh, but we only want to use the uh, expense lines that have the most recent date in them. So for the instance of contract 719 here, we want to include these two expense lines, but not this one here from January. This is obsolete now. Now, you know, there's there was situations where or reasons that this couldn't be parsed out in the data that was coming in and we needed to do it in the system. So we needed to be able to figure out a way to do this within the system where I could automatically identify what the most recent date was and then ignore anything prior to that. And so that's where this large if function came in very handy for us. So what we did here is we approached it similarly to how you handle depreciation when you have a start date and you want to look at the current date and just see if uh, an asset is still depreciating. So we wanted to convert it into uh, numeric values and then uh, subtract the different dates from the current date and figure out which one was the most recent. So that's what we're going to do here. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a formula uh, to determine what today's real world date is. Real world date, let's say that. And then I'll put in this formula here that evaluates now and then this date format. And it always throws an error, uh, but it works. The next thing that I'll need to do is compare this real world date to all of these individual date rows here and determine the difference between the two. So in this case, I'll create a column for difference. And this will be numeric. We'll save that. And so what this is going to tell us is the difference between the real world date and this date over here. So now that we have this value here, we can use our large if uh, function to determine um, based on the size of the number which one is the most recent. So I'll create a new column here for my large if. And as you can see, I'm just copying and pasting the formulas in, and I did them previously to speed this up. And so now, if we look at this large if, it's going to provide us um, the value based on the contract, because that's the reference column here, based on the contract, it's going to provide us with the largest value. So let's look at a contract. This one here specifically I know has multiple different uh, date entries here. And we wanted to identify just this value here, the one that is uh, the most recent date. And that's what it has selected. So now that we know this, we can add a filter that says if this difference value is the same as this value, we want to keep it because we know this is the most recent date. If it's not, such as this, we can filter it out. And so this is how we were able to identify the most recent dates for each contract and then have it filter out uh, dates that were in the past. So it was a really interesting use case that I thought um, you know might be helpful. There's um, several other ways that you could use this type of formula, um, but you can see here this is just one example. So I hope you found this uh, helpful, interesting in some way. Uh, again, this is Josh from Boost TVM. Thanks for watching. Bye.